Hello everyone. Welcome to SV Union High School and Junior College. All my dear 6th standard students are welcome to my YouTube channel. Students, we are going to study today about geography. So let's start. So today we are going to study about rocks and types of rocks. Everyone must be visiting to different places and observing the scenic beauty that God has created. When we see hills, mountains, cliffs, rocks, these are formed naturally. Today, in detail, we will be studying about rocks, how rocks are formed, the types of rocks, its definition and examples of types of rocks. So, let's start. Okay, everyone? Observe the pictures and answer the following questions. What is the hill in A made up of? Second question. What is being done in B? Third question. What do we see in B? Picture C. Is there any relationship between the three things shown above? For what purpose do we use the things shown in A and C? From the hills, river beds, or the land in your vicinity, collect a rock specimen of different types, shapes, colors, etc. Observe the rock specimen and note down the following. So, the first question will be place where the rock was found. Second, the color of the rock. Third, the spots on the rock and their color. Fourth, weight of the rock, whether the rock is heavy or is it light. Hardness of the rock. That means whether it is hard, brittle or medium. The structure of the rock, whether it is uniform grains, it is having layers or the hollowness of the rock. And last seventh question is that the porosity of the rocks means whether the rock is porous or non-porous. Means whether it is going to sink in the water or is it going to float in the water that we have to know from this last question that is porosity of the rock. After you find out with the answers, let's start with the explanation. We have seen last year that the earth's crust is hard. It is made up of rocks and soil. Rocks are found on land surface and also below it. Rocks are a mixture of different minerals formed by natural processes in the lithosphere. Now, what is the meaning of lithosphere? Do you know students the meaning of lithosphere? Lithosphere means the rigid and the outer part of the earth consisting of the crust and the upper mantle is called as lithosphere. The properties of rocks depend on the constituent minerals and their proportion as well as on the formation process. Silica, aluminium, magnesium and iron are the major rock formation minerals. There are other minerals too in different rocks. Now students, do you know how rocks are actually formed? Rocks are formed by the cooling and solidifying of molten materials. Igneous rocks can form beneath the earth's surface or at its surface as lava. Now students, we are going to study the types of rocks. There are three types of rocks according to their formation process. First one as you can see it on the screen is called as igneous rocks. Second one is called as sedimentary rocks and the third one is called as metamorphic rocks. Now how to classify that which rocks are called as igneous or sedimentary and metamorphic rocks? To know them, igneous rocks are hard and homogeneous or we can even say they are same or similar kind as a mixture of solid, liquid and gaseous state. 
Sedimentary rocks are brittle and lightweight. Now, what is the meaning of brittle? Means they are actually very light in weight or even we can say that the fossils or they get deposited in the layers. In which rocks? In the sedimentary rocks. And metamorphic rocks are very heavy and very hard. So, this is just a hint to know what are igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary rocks. Now, we are going to study the first primary rock which is called as igneous rocks. Okay, everyone. What is igneous rocks? How volcanoes gets erupted? What is the interrelationship between igneous rocks and volcanoes? The interior of the earth, my dear students, has a very high temperature. As a result, the material in this part is in the molten state. Molten means liquid state. Sometimes these materials get released through the fissures in the crust. This is called a volcano. Lava, gases, dust, ashes, etc. are thrown out during volcanic eruptions. As you can see it on the image in front of you, that these rocks are bursting out or even we can see igneous rocks are just known as primary rocks because the volcanoes are getting burst out. So, let's study more about igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are formed by the cooling and hardening of magma beneath or on the earth's surface. These rocks are also called primary rocks. Igneous rocks are normally crystalline in structure. They neither occur in layers nor do they contain fossils. Granite, diorite, gabbro, basalt, obsidian etc. are some examples of igneous rocks. The Maharashtra Plateau and the Sahyadris are formed out of igneous rocks. Basalt is a major example of igneous rocks. Do you know pumice is an example of igneous rocks? This is formed out of a volcanic froth. It is a porous rock. As its density is quite low, it can float on water too. Most of the hill forts in Maharashtra have lakes or elephant yards. Actually, these are old quarry sites. Rock was extracted from these sites and used for the construction of the fort and other buildings. In the pits and dugouts left behind after rock extraction, water was allowed to accumulate and these lakes and tanks were created. Now, students, do you know what is the meaning of quarry sites? Quarry sites means extraction of the rocks, which you can see it on the screen in front of you. Students, let's learn something more important about igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are having two main factors, which is called as extrusive igneous rocks and intrusive igneous rocks. Now, what is the meaning of extrusive igneous rocks? Extrusive igneous, igneous rocks cool quickly and as a result these rocks are fine grained or has lack of crystal growth. While intrusive igneous rocks are formed from magma that cools slowly and as a result these rocks are coarse grained. Okay? So you can remember that igneous rocks are linked with volcanoes. They can be both extrusive or intrusive rocks. Okay? Now students, let's study the next rock which is called as sedimentary rocks. Now let me tell you something about sedimentary rocks. The elements of climate such as temperature, rainfall and air break down the rocks on the surface of the earth. These materials are moved by rivers, winds and glaciers which are then transported and deposited in depressions like oceans and lakes. Layer upon layer is thus deposited over millions of years. These layers are then compacted or cemented due to the heavy overlying pressure. These hardened layers are known as sedimentary rocks. Sometimes the remains of dead animals and plants get trapped in the layers of sedimentary rocks. These are called as fossils. Coal, iron, natural gas are fossil fuels obtained from this type of rock. Now let's understand this in detail. 
ओके एवरी वन ड्यू टू कंटिन्यूस वेरिएशन इन द टेम्परेचर रॉक्स डेवलप क्रैक्स Similarly, the water percolating through rocks dissolves the soluble minerals. This leads to the weathering of rocks. They get disintegrated or decomposed. That is, they get reduced to pieces. These rock particles get transported by rivers, glaciers, wind, etc., towards low-lying areas and are deposited there. one after the other layers of sediments get deposited in this way the upper layers exert heavy pressure on the lower layers this leads to compaction of material and development of sedimentary rocks one can easily see layers in the sedimentary rocks while layers are getting deposited the remains of dead animals or plants get buried in this layers at times therefore one may find fossils in sedimentary rocks sedimentary rocks are generally brittle and lightweight most of them are porous what is the meaning of porous that means they float on the water Now students let's see some few examples of sedimentary rocks sandstone limestone shale corals etc are the types of sedimentary rocks one may find coal seams in sedimentary rocks too now my dear students observe this few diagrams on the screen you might be seeing that these fossils have buried because of the heavy pressure so these are the types of also sedimentary rocks these are called as fossils the buried remains of dead animals or plants become subject to heavy pressure as a result their impressions get marked in the rocks at times the buried animals or plants gets petrified these are called as fossils the study of fossils provide information about the life in that period students you might be very much aware about the red fort this is a type of sedimentary rock also this rock was used for the construction of the red fort at delhi as sandstone is relatively soft it is easy to carve in it Now, where is this sandstone found? It is found near Jaipur city in Rajasthan. Okay, everyone. Now, students, the next part that is called as metamorphic rocks, we will be studying in the second part. So, I hope so, my dear students. You must have understood about igneous rocks and about sedimentary rocks. In the next part, we will be studying about metamorphic rocks, its types, where it is found. and then we will start end with the lesson thank you everyone